I'm Andrew Atkinson, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about the 2010 CWB Transcend. Um, so you know we had molded fins on the outside, and we just started playing with the links of, of the molded fin. And you know, we tried one setup where it went all the way to the end, and it just tracked so much it wouldn't let go. And uh, we, just, we just kind of played with the length to really get the tracking and the edging just how we wanted it to. Um, so we found, to give you a little bit of versatility, that the fin extension would out, add a ton more traction uh, without actually slowing down the board, changing the ride of the board at all. So an industry first right here to transcend, something I really like. We took this center spine that was just in the center of the board and extended it all the way to the tip and tail. That way when you have a landing that's not exactly perfect right in the middle of the board, you're a little on your tail, a little on your nose, it still breaks up the water, still gives you a nice smooth landing. So we went back to the drawing board a bit and decided to look at what makes it hard for a rider to ride a three-stage rocker that's you know beginner or advanced. That why do they have to take that time to adjust to that pop of the three stage and it's not just that it's abrupt it's that there's generally such a big flat spot in the center of the board it pops you straight off the center but your center of gravity isn't over the center of your board rarely it's uh it's over your back foot uh, so basically we played with the bottom shape and basically did a kind of a step down through this area and we were able to do that with the four fin setup but we tapered the ends the tips and tails here it allows the pop actually to be generated right under the binding, so basically up and through your center of gravity. So what that means is for beginners, there's not that harsh adjustment period. You just get all that pop basically immediately and comfortably right out of the, right out of the gates. This is actually the binding off my board I've been riding for the last three months. And the Velcro has never loosened up on me when I was riding. Number of reasons for that, it's industrial strength Velcro. It also has the teeth in here as well, uh, the Gorilla Grip setup to really to really make it latch on even that much more. So no issues with them loosening up. Uh, that, it's great in that regard. We decided to cushion the landings even more with the SOS shock absorption heel pad. It's basically a piece of foam in the heel that makes the landings that much that much easier on me. Just takes it a step further. Something else new on the Pro Model bindings this year is the heel lock hinge. What this does, it takes the heel cup of the boot in a position like this to open. When you lock it down, takes the heel cup, moves it forward, really locks your heel in nicely. Makes for much easier in and out of the binding. I'll tell you what, a really nice thing, you know, I talk about put this binding on and forget about it. I sometimes take long sets. You can ask anybody that's driven for me. Apologize to you guys. Get into it. Um, there's a little bit extra SOS shock absorption heel pad. I've heard a lot, a lot of talk <laughs> recently about some of the new base Perfect. plates out there. Uh, that maybe are without a base plate, uh, kind of being the new thing on the streets. And again, I'm gonna reference this binding from CWB over a decade old. And if you notice, a bit of a base plate without a base plate. Um, you know, so it's it's good to you know. Sometimes we uh, have to go back to move forward. And I invented the internet. <laughs> The dog is calm and submissive. <laughs> I train people, I rehabilitate dogs. <laughs>